ഈ പൊറോട്ടയും ബീഫ് റോസ്റ്റും എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഞങ്ങൾ മലയാളികൾക്ക് അത് വെറും ഒരു ഭക്ഷണമല്ല ഓരോരോ വികാരമാണ് അതായത് ബീഫ് ഇല്ലേ ബീഫ് ബീഫ് നന്നായിട്ട് വാഷ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് അതിങ്ങനെ ചെറിയ 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 If you have observed the statistics, Kerala doesn't fall under any category of the states where the consumption of beef is high or the beef product export is considerable. Then why does Kerala always come into controversy when it comes to beef politics? Historical records point that Kerala under the king's rule considered cow protection as an essential duty of the state. A Nair warrior as a part of graduation ceremony after the Kalariya Pattu training. took oath in front of the king to protect the brahmins and the cows a 15th century chinese observer ma huan says that all the communities had agreed to abstain from the consumption of beef and pork and respect for cows were the condition for the settlement in kerala abdur razak the emissary of shah of persia to vijayanagar empire wrote about calicut in this harbor one may find everything that can be desired one thing alone is forbidden namely to kill a cow or to eat its flesh whosoever should be discovered slaughtering or eating one of these animals would be immediately punished with the death when vasco da gama first came to india the zomorin of calicut welcomed him on a condition that he would not slaughter the cows it was the europeans who introduced cow meat eating in kerala not only the moplas but the syrian christian community also abstained from consuming cow meat following the law of the land early syrian christians used to eat meat fish and eggs but abstained from the cow meat travancore kingdom refused portuguese in business because of their violence on cow and temples aitiha mala a malayalam chronicle depicts that shaktan tampuran of kochi beheaded someone for killing a cow the paraya community used to consume the meat of dead cattle they were not killing any animal but ate only the flesh of the dead animals whose skin they used for making hide the troops of tipu and hyder ali of mysore used to force feed hindus of kerala to convert them into islam p raman menon the biographer of shaktan tampuran the king of cochin during the tipu's invasion writes that there were hardly any cow shed left in the malayalam land where mysore tiger did not enter so eating beef and slaughter of cattle was unthinkable in the kingdom of kerala then how and when did beef eating became widespread in kerala in the 1940s or 50s forget beef even non western food was prepared outside the kitchen in the temporary viraka adupu or firewood stores when men in the family wanted some parting even though fish was a staple food for most malayalis beef was nearly unheard of or uncommon the family mourned the death of cow in their household as if they had lost their own family member the 70s were the turning point in the kerala student history until then politics in the college were not so violent or leftist the proclamation of emergency in the 1970s and missing or illegal assassination of student leaders back then sparked a massive outrage among the students against the government and all forms of power the communists instilled the ideas of atheism rebellion revolution and contempt for anything which was indian or traditional all those were pointed as a signs of age old oppression this gave rise to new generation of atheists who ate beef smoked drank and held high contempt for what their ancestors had taught them any industry or enterprise set up in the state faced high opposition from the labor organization threats from the leftist politicians and were haunted by the never ending labor strikes even though it was the entrepreneur or the owners who were expected to be victimized it was the poor labor class who suffered the greater part the entrepreneurs who were bullied by the leftist politicians moved to the neighboring states the poverty stricken malayalis were thus attracted to beef which was both cheap meat as well as high source of protein after all what tradition does matter when you can't feed your starving kids the oil boom in the gulf countries created high demand for skilled and unskilled labor in the middle east this gave an opportunity for the 
poverty stricken labor class malayalis to sail abroad find employment and send home some money and thus afford a decent living this was a time when refinery worker in the gulf countries earned more than what a doctor would earn in india the immigrant labor class malayalis were introduced to eating beef which was a cheap meat in the middle east vegetables too were very costly in gulf back then the familiarization of the beef was at its peak in the 90s and early 2000s when beef was widely served in most non-veg restaurants but no one ever talked about it or opposed it until the nda government came to power in 2014 the reason is quite obvious while most parts of the country are divided over caste religion region but the respect for cow is something which unites most parts of the nation many parts of the kerala erupted in protest against the center's new rule under the prevention of cruelty act regulation of livestock market rules 2017 that made slaughter of cattle come under license raj as left parties and congress conducted beef fests in over 300 places in the state a protest held in kannur by youth congress attracted much criticism when they publicly slaughtered the cow the so called modernist have killed cows in the name of beef fest to promote the great indian secularism this invited online hate campaigns and protest against the malayalis from all over the nation even today traditional hindus of kerala do not devour cow meat although the media and intellectuals want the world to believe otherwise the change in the demographic pattern in the past centuries communist influence in the government setup and education along with the cultural transformation brought by the gulf migration has increased the availability of beef in public space however many people do not cook or eat beef in their home the silent majority of kerala still adhere to ways of the ancestors devotion for the devatas the issue of beef politics in india is still a complex one with no easy solution it is essential to respect the cultural and religious beliefs of different communities while also upholding the principle of freedom of choice equality and diversity the focus should be on promoting dialogue and mutual understanding rather than resorting to violence or polarization do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below thank you